it wasn't that TSM were playing bad necessarily, but like Virtus Pro, their style suits the map so well, and they put they had I think like eight or s nine different CT setups, and 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 including like some crazy aggressions where well, they will send like four or three guys down to uh, down through party into this area and just faces like three or four guys at once with rifles. What are you gonna do? Like is <laughs> you don't expect that. You just, they just always would get the trade and uh, uh, like a positive uh, fragging situation and uh, well Liquid are going to win that knife round they're going to be able to choose CT so we could see that potential uh, for a very dominant first half from them. Now let's see if they do the standard CT pistol in Europe at least. I know Cloud9 does it as well. I actually think Cloud9 was the first team so who mm. did it though I don't want to call it the European pistol where you actually stack three people um, close to the stairs in the, the bathrooms so you can the, the, the thought behind that is like you play defensive on B you can just rotate down the stairs to be fast through catwalk, and if they go the bathrooms, you're basically three people there, so we should win. And yeah, look at that. It's, so they're actually going aggressive, party. It's almost the same. And they have good control of the connector area too. They could be able to hear any running or stepping down there. And if the T's are in sewers, they should be aware of it. I think they are. I do believe they know what's happening right now, but they aren't deeming it too safe to go down connector in case there's lurkers. So they're going to go the long way around, and it's going to take them a while to actually get there. So Elish has to hold on, he gets the first kill there. Good stuff there, he's stuck by jungle though, and the bomb will get planted here by T-side Affinity. Oh, you're gonna take down Elish finally, and they could go for that retake. But they're fighting all the frags, Affinity are just connecting the shots today. And that is causing so many problems here for Liquid, as Nitro is left in a one on four. Moving up the ramp through the, uh, out the monster tunnel, and it's gonna look for that first jewel, but they know where he is now, and they can attack him from all sides. There is so little for Nitro to do in this spot. And wow, Affinity surviving four players. The round is one with that bomb down. That was really nice by Affinity. And uh, it feels like their individual skill is pretty, pretty hot, actually. Yeah, that's all there is to say about that round. Team Liquid playing the standard thing where you just play defensive on B. So you can just take the long distance duels with uh, U USB and P2000. You should have an advantageous position versus the Glocks. But yeah, they still got out aimed there by Affinity. Not much they can do. Four Absolutely. people stacked in towards A now with the uh, CZs. Okay, so uh, actually interesting that there is such a dominant choice of CZs over five sevens. Actually, um, see right now. We're we'll looking for CZ frags. Ben's going to find one, and uh, that one for one should definitely help Liquid. I mean, if they can just get another two or three frags, they'll be very happy with this. We do have Flowstick moving to the side here. Ooh, gets the dink actually. Fox down to 11. So their passive round has helped, but damage has been done by Liquid. But now down to three players. Sneaky position here by Fugly. You can get some really good angles there, and of course the range works very well for the CZ. Oh, but David's going to find him with his Tech 9, and he's going to take the frag as well. Nitro going to come in here as well. He's going to try to find the finish. Does get it onto Davy. Good position as the bomb is going to move in for that plant onto B. And Elyse and Nitro, they can still cause problems here. Nitro is going to go down though. And Elyse is uh, so far going to be undiscovered. But here it is. There's the P. Gets the snap onto A. Maybe you can get another frag here. One of them very low. But yeah, that was a potentially uh, explosive round by Liquid. They managed to pick up t uh, three kills there. So not too bad. Yeah, really close round. If Fox would have gone down instead of going down to 11 HP, I think Liquid would have managed to win that round. But yeah, really close round. Still pretty good getting three kills on that round, so I think Liquid is quite happy. Yeah, we're going to see that full eco. Two flashes from Adren, so you'd expect the, uh, the pop flash setups to, to be real in this round by Liquid. Now, actually, Adren is over towards the A long area, actually, with those flashes. So he's actually kind of the only player who's not near any other teammates to use those flashes with. No, you oh, he's always flashing over. Yeah. Ah, okay. I'm completely wrong. I apologize. Dren is going to be able to <laughs> actually flash the guy over the party, and they're going to go rushing in there into Nitro. Something they'll be regretting. But uh, looks like Affinity have held on quite well here. They've they've lost one guy, and they've suffered some damage on Davy and A. But in reality, it's now a four on two, and it's just USPs here for Adren and Leash. So that flash, that little flash play was really nice, actually, from Liquid. Could have actually turned out to be a, you know, maybe a 3 on 2 or a 2 on 2. It's actually really smart by Liquid. You usually see that flash where you throw over party from the terrace to flash out the upper on long. 
but to use it the other way around to push party from uh, the bathrooms is a really cool idea. Yeah, I, I feel like a lot of people are going to try to steal that. I love these little little pop flash setups that people that people create because there's so many different ones you can make. And, uh, that was definitely a really cool one from Adren. He's going to actually pick up a kill onto Davey. He was one of the evil players. And now it's going to be Jason, Fox, and Abe. And Alish can definitely, be, if he just catches the right player, bullet in the right place, is going to finish off Fox or Abe. So there is potential for Alish to do more damage here. So this has been a good round so far. He's going to pick up a Galil. Gets caught out by Abe, though. And 3-0. Uh, Liquid going to be in with the buy. And now you would hope for Liquid's sake that they get to the, you know do their setups. They might not have an AWP, but... Uh, it's not really that important, though, on this map. I, I, it's going to be interesting to see if they tend to go for the three people towards B in the beginning, or they want to go three people aggressive on A. They go for the more standard three people on B in the beginning. Just watching out for that rush. We're probably going to see one guy rotate back pretty quickly. I think also Liquid, I, I feel like they should expect B rushes as well. From this team, Affinity, they, they even showed B rushes on on Dust 2, and of course it, it is a different map, but they did show their, that propensity to do it. And if you know like a, a, a Molotov and then a couple of smokes or little flashes, you can do a really fast B execute. It's not it's not too difficult to do, and it can be very effective. So should see quite a lot of B rushes. So I kind of like that Liquid go for the, the three B at the start. It's like super safe. You don't get a lot of presence uh, down towards uh, the, the deep areas of A at the start, but uh, pretty good. And that boost, oh, Nitro just, just missing the dink there. And uh, it's going to be the kill for Affinity. They've yet to lose a man. Got Fox a little bit weak, but they're going to push on forwards. And smoke here. Looks like Jason is worried. They feel like they know exactly where he is. Friends going to peek. He gets the frag here. Flow stick as well. And Fugly comes into play. And it's going to be just Abe who's left over against three players on Liquid's side. As Abe has now 30 seconds to uh, get that bomb down. He's on the bomb site, so the problem is, is he can't really plant. For all he knows, there is a player very, very close who can just hop up and find himself a, a quick frag as he goes for the plant, or the three seconds can be used to close the distance. Yeah, he's going to go for the aggression, aggression here down back. He's going to find Fugly, and that's pretty much all he can do, it feels like, in that spot. And that round just felt like overpass in a nutshell. You get a like good traits as T, you're pushing bathrooms, you're pushing long. Maybe they were in a 5v4 there as well. And as soon as you get close to the A site, the C is just the rotation is so fast you just die four people immediately and that's exactly what happened that round. It's really, really tough to get to the actual A site as T. I'm gonna get adrenaline on the AWP now, and there's lots of lots of ways to play the AWP on this map. You can play a little, little bit more conservatively towards B or Monster, or you can be kind of like the super proactive AWPer where we see Adren. He's kind of towards the uh, toilets and party area. You can do a lot with an AWP in this spot, rotate a lot, cause a lot of damage. But they are super close to, uh, to Adren right now. You can see him just darting back quickly here. Knows he's in a really bad spot, close range for the AWP. They're trying to catch him out, looking for the no scopes, the quick scopes, all of the scopes, but nothing much is gonna be connecting here. Three on three, all picked up onto Fox. This is looking dangerous right now for Lick. We've got Fugly looking to try to get himself in on top of those stairs so he can get a frag, get an angle to prevent this bomb from going down. But they won't find it in time. Great stuff though. Oh, Fugly, double in from him as he takes down not only the bomber but the man on Optimus as well. And it's going to be Abe who is uh, left over. He's not got a lot of uh, lot to work with, but he will find a double with that from us. That bomb's still ticking away. They tried to actually trade more safely with all three players, but they couldn't quite find the frag. And Leech is just going to go for it. Oh, Abe, can he find the angle in time? Oh, Leech with 5 HP will find the defuse. And Abe, oh, that could have been the round for him. What a play. But it wasn't to be enough. But Liquid, they were sustained so much in the way of losses there. Yeah, it was like the smoke disappeared a bit. And he thought that he, if he was on the defuse, I could see him. So he actually thought, like, oh, he can't actually be on the defuse. It's funny because if he were just a fired, like, one bullet there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's just one bullet. Five HP, that's such a close margin. And Liquid definitely going to be breathing a sigh of relief there. As uh, the Fortune is with them in that spot. Indeed, with them there. So, a different setup here from Liquid. They've got uh, no AWP in play. A couple of rifles towards upper part bay. They've got three on B as well. So, Connector and Party kind of up for grabs at the moment for the T's, but they have moved towards uh, Suez with the majority of the lineup. So, might see a B play. And Nitro just gathered all the info they need right now, pushing up to uh, Party. 
we've got uh, some smokes coming in. So the set play indeed. I feel like we might see a lot of these. In goes the split from Short and from Monster Tunnel as we have Liquid Flowstick coming in with two big frags. Davey gets some returns. So many refrags coming in. After the dust settles though, it's going to be all on top of Nitro. All the pressure in this retake situation. They have no idea where he is. They're trying to fake him out. He's going to get a free frag onto the bomber. Fox goes down and now Nitro is going to go for the, the fast reposition. Although he's not going to give away any sound cues. Walking all the way as Jason is wondering, did he, did he rotate or is he going to double bluff here? Is he going to double back into this position? Nitro with the bomber. Going to spot the play. Nice flick there. Nitro gets it. But the flash tossed out from Jason was not at an opportune moment. But he could not know where Nitro could have been. Uh, <laughs> he, he, like, he went down to check Monster, and I thought like, okay, he's gonna check Monster, so we like, he can't be Monster, then he has to be short, because he wouldn't have the time to go back the entire mm. way. And still, the T decided to have his nade up there. Uh, yeah, definitely uh, a risky, risky idea with the nade. Did not pay off to get punished by Nitro, and that's going to keep Liquid in on the buy. As they've again received a lot of damage in each round. They keep going down to the last man. Nitro gets a one on one for one there, and we've got a Trent coming in to try to do some extra damage with the Bamas. Oh, he's going to get three players. Very, very nicely done by a Trent. Two HP left over, and that that could have been scary as well. I mean, they were really fast onto his position. Adren had to deliver that triple frag, or else he would go down, and that would be two players lost in this round. But instead. It's only one player, and that is so different right now because we just had two rounds where Liquid went down to the last man. So their economy, they need to grow that economy right now because Affinity, the big buys, are coming. <coughs> Let's see if Affinity decides to go for that B push, where, which were quite successful. They went into a 2v1, so wouldn't be surprised if they decided to do that again. But uh, three people going to up towards uh, the ladder room. Doesn't seem like they're going to try that again. Okay, so up on Arya, that connector. Definitely a spot where you can see CT sometimes get the early pressure in. Oh, just a little bit slow, looks for the wall bang, gets the tag actually through the, the wooden plank, the wooden board. And Arya's just looking for the player by water, but it's going to be the smoke off. Really nice uh, by Liquid to delay the use of their nades there, so we're going to see also, that flank coming in from Liquid as well, so they're going to have all the info. They're starting to actually make the rotates as well. Push is looking to come in, uh, come and make its way in through Monster here. They're going to get the opening, but in comes the Dren with a double. Once again, the Dren been delivering so far for his team. Fox in, though, to try to regain control of the bomb site. But Nitro, such a fast flank straight through. They've got a, mo a player coming up Monster as well, but it's not even going to matter. Nitro is doing so much damage, picks up the frag there. Arya cannot get the bomb down. He's stuck in an awkward spot with that AWP, surrounded from all sides. The Dren comes back in for the peak once they're distracted with his teammates. Such an awesome round from, from Liquid. That push from Nitro was so strong around Upper Park. Great play there from Adrian getting four kills from the Balkan area. It's actually really hard to out aim the terrorists there when they have AKs, but Adrian just did a great job. Okay, so uh, Liquid starting to you know get a good, good series of holds. Adren at the center of all of them, actually. And... Once again, we'll have a buy from Infinity. So, no AWP this time, and uh, Liquid also keeping themselves off the AWP at the moment. Wanting to play more economically. Maybe just spawning for somebody, a monster, but Liquid with a more passive approach in this round. They, are, they do have a defense right there over by the toilets, but they're not looking actively for any, any frags. There are no pot flash setups from them. They are actually even falling back. It's kind of like a timing play at, at one minute. They kind of just fell back to the bomb site. They don't have a lot of presence to know exactly where the T's can be at the moment. It's just falling back, re-smoking, slowing down these T's and hoping they'll make a mistake. And they come. Nitro going to spot one. There's the second jewel. Ooh, good damage done. Oh, almost gets caught with a nade out, but he does get back to safety in time. Teammates there to support him, though. This could be very dangerous indeed because Liquid Already with this defense, they've got three players there, two on the bomb site, Adren by the long area. And uh, Adren going to get caught inside actually. So now things getting a little bit more awkward for Liquid as the. Oh, it just tries to go straight for that plant in the smoke, but it is discovered by Fugly and, and Nitro. Two frags coming in either way. And it's going to be the trades as well that will finally allow Infinity a chance at this round. So the bomb will go down, but we've got the big flank from Flowsick. He makes his way in, just tapping down Fox. 
Leaving Ari alone, and he will not win the one-on-one. -on -one. Well done to Elise. As Leafy's comes in, and once again, Liquid with a costly round, but Affinity, another bomb down. And how many rounds have they lost in a row now? Uh, it's all. Okay, so they got a max yeah, bonus, six. so 4,200 for them. Yeah, Killer so. Close rounds. So, I don't know really what to say. Affinity getting the bomb down, getting into pretty good positions. I mean, having 2v2, getting the bomb down, and they earlier had a 2v1 on the B bomb side, getting the bomb down. I mean, just playing the T side as good as you can. Like, if you get into the, that kind of position as T on overpass, you should be happy. They, you just need to be able to close the round out. Fast push down upper park here for Liquid as well. And will this be. Will they try to get a, p a flash in as well? We're going to have the double peek from the T's. Ooh, the tools coming in. He's going to come out on top here. It looks like uh, Jason's going to be showing his form again. And uh, Liquid's. They will even things up thanks to Adren. But the three on three could go quite well here for Affinity, potentially. It's not as easy to exploit as, a, as on a map like Dust 2. These kind of three on three situations as a terrorist. But in goes Jason. He's fast up long. And then he's coming in to smoke him off. He's only got five HP Fox. He's just Spreading around, finds the kill onto Adrenaline. Leech goes down as well so quickly. Flosik. Oh my god, he's so far away right now. And he's going to uh, the, uh, the other longest route here through Upper Park. Now. And I think Affinity has cleared the bank area, so they know he's coming from behind. Alright, so this this should be this should be pretty hard. This should be un unwinnable. It, well, it depends on which side they planted the bomb. If they planted it towards the bathrooms, he might be able to do something sneaky. And they actually did. Oh, is he just going to go for the hold, actually? This is really scary right now. He might make it happen. No, okay. Davey very fast onto the angle. With that amount of time left, I mean, I guess he was forced to make that play because his rotation, he was so far back. Um, and, uh, well, Affinity will pick up a round. And all the damage that they've been doing in some of these past rounds, they create a situation where they just, ha they just have to win one more. And they force an eco. But the same thing goes their way, too. Affinity could be on the... Uh, on the on the, uh, the the reset as well, so we have to make sure that uh, they win this one. As do liquids. Only a five seven on Pogba, and they're just going to go for their be execute. We're we'll trying to spot this as well. So flash is coming in here. I really like this. They really try to scare the jumping guy off before they show a lot of people. So just scare him off and just go for the be execute. After. Oh, that's such a nice hold there from Flosik. Great positioning to be committed. Doesn't even get taken down, actually. Davey will do that, though, after a couple of frags. So three on three here, so Liquid get the rotation in. That nice two on one there on for Jason. As Liquid are looking for that retake to actually happen here. They want to prevent that bomb plant, but this time it's not going to be the case. Oh, nice boost. Very sneaky indeed. Oh, that is absolutely amazing. But it will be exploited by Davey. Gets himself the one-on-one -on -one with the bomb down. He's going to run straight away to uh, Suez. So I'll be uh, trying to see if you can spot out where Davey's gone. This is that similar situation. In fact, this is exactly the same situation as before, more or less. Maybe repositioning towards short. Now Fuggy's checked the monster area. He's now eliminated short. He's going to actually make it happen. Does he have the time here? Yeah, I think he's got the time for the defuse indeed. And it's going to be another round for Liquid. And uh, 7 to 4 now. That's going to be 2 for them as if anything get reset on the money. And you can see that, uh, at least for them, they only, only need one eco. That was an extremely important round for both teams. If Affinity would have won that round, they would have forced, as you said, Liquid to Nico, which means they probably were not going to tie the game 6-6 six, six, ST on this map, which is really, really nice. But still, four rounds, and there's um, four rounds left in this half. They're still in a pretty good position. Oh, the fast push coming in from Monster as well. And, oh, just an instant trade there from A with the Tech-9. He has to be good though with the Seiki. He's got a really sick position though from jungle. Can get quite a few tap downs and the smoke is not concealing them completely as the nades come in from the CTs. Oh, that's really strong in there by Adren. Love that angle on the nades. He's going to go around as the last player. Pick himself up an M4. He's going to roll straight back into this uh, B bomb site. See if he can do some extra damage. Get spotted, I think, by Lee. And tap, tap. There it is. These will save the round. So Liquid's uh, picking them up. But Affinity again with another bomb plant. They seem to be getting bomb plants so consistently. How many rounds? Let's just check really quick on the scoreboard and see. Yes, yeah, so we've had. Uh, okay, maybe. Okay, not as many bomb plants as I thought. But uh, 
Yeah, still but still, uh, ST on overpass, this yeah, is four, re really impressive. Yeah, four bomb plants is pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good. Actually, in that game I was talking about with Virtus Pro 16 one or I think it was against TSM, TSM, I don't think they got the bomb down. They didn't get the bomb down once, actually, if I remember correctly. There yeah. was not a single plant. Okay, that's pretty sick. Which is just, yeah. especially, <laughs> especially on B, because the way you usually play B is you like you let them plant B. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Because it kind of to let them plant B puts them out of position, basically. Yeah, it's it, that's actually the, the when you when you first play this map, that's the thing that you figure out like quite quickly. You like plant bombs, like oh, I'm like in this horrendous spot now to actually take any angels at all against these CTs. So you just have a little bit of a, a pause here, guys. If you have just joined us, this is the first semi-final here today. Liquid and Affinity. Liquid up one map, winning 16-14 on Dust2 here on the HTC Reborn Invitational. And uh, the second semi-final will be CLG versus Cloud9. Now uh, these teams are playing for a chunk of that $10,000 prize pool as well that uh, HTC have so wonderfully put up for this tournament. And uh, if you guys fancy it, I don't know, if you, if you want to want a fancy new phone, a really nice phone from HTC, H the HTC One M9, then you can go to bit.ly forward slash giveaway by HTC. That is the address. Just follow the instructions. And you can also win an awesome PC that has been provided by Cyber, Cyber Power PC. So pretty nice bundle, to be honest. <laughs> pretty, pretty good value, actually. Um, so OK, got the unpause coming in. And the Liquid currently eight rounds, Affinity four. They've managed to get bombed down, the bomb down quite quite a few times and do quite a lot of damage as well. And we can see once again, Liquid actually have to eco if they lose this. Yeah. It's really crucial two kills to go off last round with those tech nines. And just standard play here from Liquid. Having three people on B on the beginning, just waiting for the two push. And once again I think this is going for their B execute. I, I can understand them. They, I mean, they won it only once, but the rounds they lost were so close. And if you're getting close to winning a round as T and Overpass, you're doing something right. So, this is actually pretty smart by them. Okay, so uh, previously we saw Liquid looking for the jump spots. And then actually, they are jump spotting. I think they saw a multi multitude of players. And they got a forward. They got four people right here actually for this, uh, this d defense potentially. So, it's going to be quite strong for Liquid. If the push does indeed come in, and Affinity, they don't, they don't look like they're trying to play for map control anywhere else at the moment, so the, the options are pretty restricted to this B play. And indeed, we will see this. Nitro, uh, nice position actually. You can jump through connector quite quickly to help out from the back. And in goes Aid. Now that monster, that flash uh, did not fall closely, but Aid's still going to get the kill. There is fire and smoke absolutely everywhere at the moment. And they are still finding the frag, so great stuff here from Davey with a triple kill in this round. Nitro from the back is the last one left, and Davey is going to annihilate it. What a round there from Davey. That was a great execute, actually. Just a sea of smoke. Yeah, and once again, they have, they have huge success with that B execute and Liquid. Forced on Eco, Affinity should at least get six rounds now on the T half. Liquid is, an actu is actually in a lot of trouble. Yeah, definitely. Affinity is showing that they've, they are no slouches on, uh, on overpass. These BX abuse are really scary. And as, as you noted, it, it seems like the, the A plays have not gone so well for them because they're playing into some like nice setups that Liquid have rehearsed. Good uh, Liquid are you know, playing well on the aim. Adrenge specifically as well has been putting in really good defenses towards A. And He's also been hitting his shots with the AWP, so you're running into pretty much all of the, all of the, the strongest points of their overpass game towards A, so it's kind of nice for Affinity that they've got that B, that B execute that they can rely upon. And there were even four players predicted there. Oh, okay, this, now this is kind of nice. Nitro's going to pick up the, the bomber there. Doesn't, doesn't want able to get the gun away to safety, however. To safe position, rather. So uh, Fugly is going to be tapping down some extra damage and we are getting a lot of frags here from Liquid. They're doing a good job, but it's going to be a three on one in the end. Fugly with it all to do. He's going to just swipe away that AK on the ground. Uh, he's got a full armor as well, so Fugly could actually clutch this. You never want to count out the Fugly. This is what he does. Bomb going to go down though towards B. And then comes Fugly very quickly. Might catch somebody out here, but the smoke is helping them reposition. Fugly going to go in. Looking for the player to spot the first one, lets his presence be known. Knows this will be a player towards the sewers. He might not expect the second one. He's looking everywhere, almost gets the frag onto A, but not quite. And Affinity will win the round, but Liquid did a lot of damage there. Three kills, and uh, they can go for the buy, but it's not going to be pretty. It's the last round, so they have to buy, and uh, Affinity already up with 
six rounds if Liquid doesn't win the second half pistol. I can't see them winning this map actually. We thought they were gonna win with like six into five. Hey, hey, surprised. that was your prediction. I didn't make a prediction. <laughs> I'm just, just saying. Although I, I did think Liquid would look like, uh, we're gonna have a good, good half indeed on CT. We do get a quick fire from Alish there with that nice, uh, that nice positioning. Yeah, it's inter interesting to see that Affinity they didn't seem to have any like set executes on Dust Two ST, but on Overpass they had like this super good B execute. That is actually a really good point to be honest. Well, we're gonna have Arya moving in. Let's take down a trend. That's a really important frag, but it does get traded by Nitro. Or rather refragged by Nitro. Well, there's the three here for the CTs. And they're starting to get closer and closer. They're closing in on that A bomb site. Nitro able to take the next frag onto Jason. However, again, trades coming in. Nitro still standing strong though onto the site. And this is so important. This is preventing a quick plant and leaving Abe all alone. In this last round, he's got to go for the clutch, and he's got somebody flanking him. He's got the good game sense to realize it, though, that he won't win the duel. And 9-6 to six will be the score on the first half. So as you said, like Affinity did really well here. Maybe, maybe it's like a necessity thing. Maybe it's like uh, on overpass, they want to be prepared on overpass, so they know that they have to have an execute. Because we've kind of only seen one proper execute from them, um, but they used it multiple times. And with Dust2, it's like, well, y you, know, you know, you don't need an execute on Dust2, you can just find the picks. I think a lot of teams might actually think like that. If you don't have a lot of time to spread between uh, how you, how, you know, you know, you're not going to drill dust two rows of executes if there's if your overpass game is is struggling or if your your train game is struggling. You know, these maps where one execute can make the difference, maybe. Yeah, exactly. And I don't know what kind of sponsorship these guys ha have. Maybe they don't have the time to play full time as well. So mm -hmm. they have to like prioritize, just as you're saying, where they put in their hours on which map. You can definitely see how their individual skill really lent to them creating crazy situations for Liquid to clean up, basically, that were always very messy. Uh, no matter how much uh, Liquid looked like they were in a favorable spot, Affinity could always surprise. So, see two smokes here on Team Liquid. They should have a set strat now. Looks like they're going for a B execute. Probably going to smoke off uh, Graffiti and uh, maybe the Seed Water Ramp or the Balcony. Okay, so... Fox looking for the spot. Oh, going to spot two players, going to make the call. Just start seeing some movement here. Just a little bit of movement here for Affinity. They've got a, a player in the A bomb site who could rotate actually a little bit more. And uh, indeed, he's in that spot. And it's going to be almost a three bomb, uh, three bomb site. So they're playing the B retake actually. B retake strategy here from Affinity. And the bomb will go down. And we have a, just everyone from Liquid spreading out into good post plants to set up positions. Jason goes in from the door. Two or three players to deal with him though, but he's going to pick up one kill and all of a sudden Affinity are looking like this This retake is starting to be on for them. It's three on three. Oh my goodness, this is... Oh no, not again. <laughs> not again. This is uh, it's ha it's happening too many times here where Liquid are getting out of position to defend the defuse and Affinity. Very bold, very brazen, going to go for it every time and it seems like it's going to reward them. They will win the pistol round. It looked like Liquid thought they were going to go for the flank from stairs because they had left three guys yep. in the, the hub area there, but uh, Affinity just went straight out from CD spawn and just went for the straight out defuse. And now they won the pistol round. I mean, if Liquid doesn't manage to like force Affinity to two Ecos by winning one of these tech, now, tech rounds, I have a hard time seeing them winning this map. Yeah, we'll have to see what kind of executes they might have. They might have some really tough ones to deal with, but so far the Tech Nines, they are actually dealing the damage, and we're going to get a fast round into that A bomb site as Liquid are really annoyed right now. Are they going to try to get this done? And it's just as Ren who's left over. He's going to get eliminated. Fox with that triple, that nade to double kind of combo with the Famas is going to bring an excellent result for Affinity. Eight to nine rounds. They're one behind now, and uh, Liquid. They did get the bomb down. Liquid should buy. They should definitely buy. Yeah, they're doing it. They got three kills. They have to force an eco out of uh, Affinity. This is a great decision by them. And they have four smokes as well. So they can play any kind of round they want to. And Affinity, as you mentioned with the weapons, one of the dangerous things that kind of consumes the nades is as the teasers. You've got to try to like flash safely through some of these really horrible choke points and angles. But... It feels like they can maybe cut that corner because their weapons are so good. If they play trades, then they should be able to gain control of toilets fairly easily. And once you have toilets, you can then you can have connector pretty easily, and then then maybe sewers pretty easily. It kind of uh, it kind of uh, be becomes a very strong map control situation for your team then. And then your A and B options are very good. 
affinity opting to go for that defensive A strat though. I really not spotting anyone along, just kind of fall back and with 50 seconds left on the clock now, I think this is a great decision. Yeah, it's uh, very passive indeed. They really don't want to get eco'd. <laughs> it's not, sorry, uh, they, sorry, not eco'd, but they want to get surprised, sorry, uh, with the, this force buy of Infinity. And it, this MP7 and Davy can be really strong at the, at the right ranges. And uh, Davy is actually playing on the, the B bomb site, actually. Do they have a Molotov here? Because if they can Molotov the site with only 20 seconds left, this is going to be almost impossible to work with. Oh, fuck, he's actually hitting Dave with the nade. He's going to spot him out there. He's going to spam him on MP7 through the smoke, but really be careful. He's just going to go straight through and fuck, he will find him. So no awkwardness, no confusing situation dealt with effectively by Liquid. In comes Arya, though, with that that uh, scout that he can effectively use from that vantage point. going to just drop straight down into water, get himself up close and personal with these players from Liquid with that scout. And these positions are much better from Liquid right now. They have a much better coverage of the site. Leaves the first point of contact, does take down Fox, and it feels like it should only get easier from this point. They're all approaching from jungle right now. They're trying to run and save these guns. And Liquid, after a very passive opening, solid, solid movement towards the sewers area, towards the monster area, got the nice take on the go. And it looked methodical, and that was really nice from Liquid. And finally, we see, we see them saving their guns. Great decision there by Affinity. Uh, too bad the third guy didn't manage to save his gun. He got spammed through the <coughs> the wood there on B, but uh, so managed to save two weapons. Should still eco, but uh, at least they have a chance to pressure the economy with liquid. Yeah, we we'll have to see what they can pull out the bag in this round because they can definitely the individual skill they have. You just and the pistols, the strength of the pistols. You just never know what we're gonna see. Infinity is always, always very dangerous, gotta respect that, use the nades effectively to kind of get rid of some of these more annoying positions that the pistolers can hide in. And Nitro can get caught between two players, in fact he will, but they don't get any kills there. That is actually really fortunate for Liquid, and they're gonna have a nice clean sight take of the B bomb site. And there is a player even lurking in the connector here. He gets sandwiched potentially, he's gonna get spotted, Bugly gonna go down, and that's gonna be a gun for Affinity that they may just save. Yeah, they should just try to save the gun like now. I mean, sure, they're going to be down 11 to 8, but there's still CT on overpass, so just eco, get a stable economy, and just try to go for the lockdown. This is one of the things as well, like, if Affinity get into a spot where they don't feel comfortable with, let's say, maybe the, the uh, preparation that they have on the map, then that can force you into spots where you maybe maybe they won't feel comfortable with a good, a good economy, which is kind of the spot you want to be because you want to be in because you don't have enough... Rehearsal. I we'll have to see. Again, as you said, you know, Opas is not the most commonly played map. Even in Europe, sometimes there are some teams that still kind of avoid it. And uh, yeah, NIP is one of those teams. Mm. Never play it. Yeah, they only started to play uh, uh, Mirage and uh, Cash when they got Ali win as well. When they had like a really solid Orpa. You can see how much that actually helped them as well. They're going for the standard boost here. Opting to break the window, I don't know why. Maybe you make just because you make less damage on the first shot. Okay, so Suet's taken over by Affinity. So they have some forward map control here. They, they're playing a little bit more uh, aggressively on the B side of the area of the map. Sorry, as we have also a little push coming out from Arya with the scout towards Long. So they are trying to actively find out what's going on, and with that Suez play. Once Ari gets all the way down Upper Park, they should know where most of these keys are. And already able to spot one, so they know that a, a Toilet's control take is going on for Liquid. And Ari's got a really sick position to kind of sandwich them if they try to actually go bank. But they're actually going to avoid his position somehow. He's going to spot Bugly, gets an, a flick shot, but Bugly deliver the death here with that AK. He won't. Aria picks up the frag and Liquid. Are moving in A long and they've been undiscovered. They might think that it's completely clear because Arya pushed A long and this is so perfect for Liquid potentially. Three on five. Element of surprise. Two on five now. Alicia and Adren. Ah, they can't quite get the part down either. It's going to be the finish by Arya. So that was a really strange round actually. Yeah, perfect timing from Liquid walking past them along there. But still, Affinity managing to win that round flawlessly, building so much economy. And uh, let's see if Liquid decides to eco. They should. 
Oh, they're actually going for the force buy. Or oh, they had a lot of money. Yeah, they can get the no execute worries. in, yeah. I guess, on B. That would be really nice. I feel like they, they might start to favor that execute when they're in tr like spots where there is trouble. Um, and also where they want to get the easy pressure in. Because right here, we actually, they're, yeah, they're just going to go straight up for it. You've got the, the smokes in there to cover them on uh, graffiti, as you mentioned. They've got the, the Molotov for the barrels. And once you can eliminate those two spots, the entries become significantly easier. But they are actually going uh, back with a couple of players already. The bomb not making its way to plant just yet, but finally Adren is going to put it down. And a and sorry, Davy and Abel will actually be able to get the frag onto Adren. Box creeping in here. Look at the health here for three of the players on Liquid. They are critically wounded as the retake comes in. Affinity actually looking like they're going to have a strong chance to make this happen. Oh no, Fox! He's going to take down one of his own teammates. And now Liquid are completely annihilating them. Nitro with the burst on the Glock. And Affinity will lose that round. And I'm not sure what happened there, but that team frag definitely did not help Affinity at all. I have no clue what happened there. I don't think yeah. the players on the server has any clue what happened there. I think, I think he's just so so expecting, because they've seen a leash, he's seen a leash in that spot before. I think he's just expecting him to be there, almost like trying to, like thinking to pre-fire it, and then there was a smoke down, and his teammate came out the smoke, maybe. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, it, that's actually true. It's really hard to communicate during a retake where yeah. you're going to clear off, so it's... That TK wasn't, like, that's surprising. That yeah, that can happen. It's more of that they got three kills after that. Yeah, with that's like the one thing. HP. Absolutely. Oh, that's a nice shot. And orping from this spot is a little bit harder than it looks sometimes as well. That's, that rock is really awkward. Yeah. Yeah, it's really awkward. I've heard a lot of people say that that it's it's not nearly as easy as it looks. Um, not that orping is necessarily easy at, at all, but. <laughs> That, that particular uh, you know sh shot is not so so good to make so consistent but Arya has no trouble at the moment and uh, seeing Infinity was very nice uh, picking game once again Liquid struggling a little bit more to get that map control towards A but those B takes have been fairly successful for them so we might even see them go back to this because they've lost everyone but Nitro playing the picking game not getting the trades where they want to get them and uh, that open that I think that opening op shot really set the pace here because once that opening orb, orb shot happened it's like Ava's going to get a free one there but once that opening orb shot, orb shot happened it felt like their ability to trade properly into the into the positions like towards toilets and stuff it just it decreased dramatically and then another player goes goes down and then it's, it becomes just those are one on ones instead of being able to play as a team to get the trades to, to win the position so Affinity playing well there yeah and Affinity's actually going more for the two guys on B and three guys going aggressive A and I'd don't know if Liquid has noticed this yet. They could easily punish this with just going for a straight B rush yeah. or B execute, and that's what they're doing. So they might have noticed, oh, there's a lot of players aggressive on A. Wow, they are getting picked off, though, before they can even get in, it would seem. And this is a cancel, it feels like, here right now from Liquid. Indeed, they're going to go back. Got to be careful of this position. Probably actually closing the door, which is kind of nice. But uh, got to be careful of the, the potential for the, uh, the spot there. We'll bang in that position pretty easily as well. But this is really awkward right now because they've used a few of their nades. They actually have the, the key Molotov left still for barrels, and they've got uh, a couple of smokes still. So they could re execute into the site, and they're actually going to go for it as well. This could be really, really strong here for Liquid if they get the openers, and Ugly delivers the triple kill. Great stuff there. What a spray control on the dropping player as now Liquid in a four on two saving what looked like a really horrible round. Now Liquid have turned it into gold. And it's going to be Abe who comes in from jungle now looking for something. But Liquid, uh, they are waiting because they want all the players to face for these jewels. And this is, again, that situation. You want to get that good good uh, positioning to take the frags instead of going for the immediate bomb plant. And it's like Abe's going to pick up a kill here. And they, they feel like pressure to go for the bomb plant. But Jason, they can't get the spray onto the frag. Abe down into the water now. I think they may have heard him. But Jason will finish off Nitro. Elysia and Fugly remain. One picks away both from short right now. Now this could be interesting. Abe gonna go close, grinding the corner. Gets the first player, keeps spraying as they repeat for the trade. And it's gonna be the round for Affinity. W there was so much crazy stuff happening in that round, but it's gonna be Affinity to win it. At yeah, first it looked like it's, it was gonna be an easy round for Affinity. Killing one, tagging one guy down to 20 HP. Then Fugly came out getting three fast kills on B. But still, short was a two before like retake, but holding that B side could be extremely awkward, especially when you're stuck on the site, yeah. as we're talking about, and, and behind that pillar, you can just so easily get picked off without being able to do any damage at all. 
I liked that Liquid cancelled it at a point where they, the, the rush, at the point where they still had the nades to actually re-execute. That was awesome, because that's a communication thing as well, like in the chaos, it's, it could be very easy to just maybe lose a nade or two there, and then it, the retake, that's where the re-execute becomes impossible. Tech 9 armor's out now though, just rushing up towards A, and it actually it's not looking too horrendous. They do pick up one frag, but as they get onto the bomb site, these angles look, held, look to be held really well by Affinity, and uh, yeah, Liquid in a bit of trouble here as he's just a uh, leash left. He goes down in the end. So Affinity tying things up now. So this is a pretty crazy game. It feels like every time Liquid feel like they're going to get some momentum after a successful B round and a B execute, they go for these A plays, trying to like slowly pick their way in. But they they lose all the picking battles. They can't trade properly or don't get the proper trades, and they don't get the positioning. And then it's like a weak finish on the site which is where they can't get the bomb down and they lose. Then like, okay guys, let's go back to what worked with that BXQ. It feels like we're getting that over and over again. Yeah, and let's showing some presence now towards party, but I wouldn't be surprised if they just try to go back. Considering they have one guy down in the ladder room, they have one guy on towards monster. No, one for one, one trade here. Yeah, the bomb is going back. There's not many nades here for Liquid though, there's no Molotov for example, and uh, I guess they have a few flashes, but just two smokes, so what, what, is, what, what would work here? Just retake some map control towards toilets or...? I don't know really, I mean, Liquid has, or sorry, Affinity has really good positions now because they're pushed forward there on the hub on B, but just as I say that, he wrote his back towards the B site. Also playing real defensive right now, but with 40 seconds left, they should just play this really defensively. Liquid actually saw the bomb dropped. I guess a uh, flow second position to pick that up. It looks like they, I think he were going for the B play. They don't have any map control towards A at the moment, and that takes so long to generate that at this point it seems like to our eyes it has to be a B, and it's going to be a quick entry there, or sorry, defensive frag from Davy. That oh, if he draw, oh, no, the bomb is going to go down in monster. That is. Hugely disastrous. Davey picks up another one, looking for the fourth kill. He's going to get it. And Affinity are going to win that round. Oh dear, that did not go And no money to plan. for Liquid as well. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty chaotic, I must say. Uh, once again, it felt like the idea for Liquid was pretty good. I think when you have that much time left and you, no one has set foot on A and it takes ages to clear, like all the like, toilets and... And, and all, that, all those areas, it's very hard to do that. You need to take time to do it. B is the only solution. And just, if we could make it happen, great, great pre nades here, though, from Infinity. And looking to deal with these Tech Nines as they come in. So that's a key Molotov doing some damage there. But it's going to be trades upon trades. But Liquid not looking super good at the moment. In comes Affinity with a vengeance. Area going close with a pistol of his own. The bomb is, is down, and uh, there's not much here really left for Adrenaline Faculty to do in this position. It would take. Divine Intervention for them to win this round. Affinity have got the bomb now as well, under control. And Liquid really needs to kill one or two more to so pressure their economy. And this is going to be disaster for Liquid. Only one guy going down for Affinity. They can buy like at least two or three more rounds, even if they lose. Which means Liquid has to win like three honest weapon rounds yeah. as T on Overpass. And this is, yeah, it's going to be really, really tough. And, and they, they've shown that even though the B players have found success for them, it's always, it's not, it's never been like consistent. It's never been guaranteed. And we're going to get, uh, again, that aggression towards uh, A from, from Affinity. Liquid, are they, they going to go for the A, the B play again? Looks like they are thinking about it. Oh, that's a nice entry. Now, are they going to rush in off of this or are they going to just wait? Because it's a very early pick. They can definitely just play it slow now, try to force a mistake from Affinity. Ataria is looking in from... Oh, this disposition is really strong. He, he's going to go in with a 5-7. It's actually really smart from Aria. He's going to take the risk. He's going to take the gamble. And he's going to get the shot on Dofugli. We'll find potentially another player here. As they have to push in because they're getting flanked at the moment. But it is still a good advantage on the players. As they did clean out the site effectively. Very, very strong opening from Fugly. And that has uh, allowed them... This situation. Jason's going to find Nitro. But that is going to be the one... And they still buy with four players as well. So Liquid with maybe even the cleanest round win we've seen from them yeah. in a buy versus buy. So one of one out of th out of the three honest weapon rounds, one for Liquid. Can they do it twice? 
Oh, Alicia's gonna drop an orb for Adren as well. So they're spending all the bank to get the uh, the plays happening. Double orb. So you, we're looking at pick plays here. They're looking for unexpected shock and awe angles that Infinity walk into, never expecting an orb to be there. We need to take take some some uh, take some picks and some Infinity players who are maybe a little bit too far forward in some of these positions. Not going to find anything early into the round. That's actually scary for Liquid because they invested a lot. And if, it, if, if Affinity decide to play a passive slow round where Liquid can't use the orbs to get an early advantage, it could get awkward. And I like that Liquid is showing their presence towards long and bathrooms, forcing Affinity to have three people on A. Nice shot there by Nitro. I was afraid that his teammate was going to run in the way looking for a frag. But trust the Nitro to get it with the opening will. And that's what they needed. That was kind of the mis maybe a mistake, or, or not necessarily a mistake, but a play that they were looking to capitalize on. And now, Liquids, those double ops paying off a little bit here for them. They may not even expect there to be the second one. I don't think they've seen the second one just yet. So we'll have to see if they can hold on. Davy has been an absolute monster on this bomb site. He's got a Famas, but I would not count this guy out just yet. As Liquid go in with a man up advantage. Oh, another entry found by Elige. Onto Davy as well. And now she's going to go for the very fast bomb plant. Quite smart considering they have the uh, numbers advantage. They pull back now and they got the orbs to cover. They're going to reposition as well. I'm not sure where Dren's going exactly. Just falling all the way back here. Away from the bomb site. Affinity going to go for the save. It looks like. So Liquid keeping themselves well and truly in this one. If they can hunt down a couple kills, this could really go their way. It feels like a deja vu from those two. Mm. Affinity was up 14-11, exactly the same, and then they just fell apart. That actually happens. I think that was the exact same thing that happened yesterday with Liquid versus Elevate on Dust 2. I think Elevate were about to win, and, and then, then Liquid came back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then Liquid just came back a bunch of rounds in a row. And I if that's going to happen a third time in a row, that would be kind of crazy from Liquid's. Double orbs still out there, but the thing is, uh, Affinity know about this now. So we we saw a pretty passive opening in the previous round. You would expect that Affinity are going to be too afraid now of those orbs. They've been, they've been conditioned away from any aggressive plays where they could get caught out. And they go uh, for the fast push now. Oh yeah, though, that position gets a second. That's so important right now. Cutting off this push completely with those two frags. And now Liquid are left with two orbs. And an AK on both six. This this is bad right now for Liquid. And Fox is going to get a sneaky kill onto the only rifler of Liquid left remaining. So Adren and Nitro with the two ops. What on earth do you do in this position? Adren tries to take a, a take a, his life in his hands there, moving through Monster for a pick, which is really smart, actually. You need a, cra you need a crazy play to save yourselves from this position. But they are going to get completely wiped out. Liquid now, they ha if they want to win this map, they want to bring it 2-0, they've got to force the overtime. But it's going to be... Uh, at least a buy for them in this round. At least they have a lot of money to spend for yeah, this last round. It's going to be a lot of mind games now. Affinity stacked a bit there towards the B side, so Liquid's in this position. Okay, do we go for the B execute? Will they stack B again? Will they go for the regular three people on A positions? And uh, looks like Liquid just going for the straight out B push. Are we going to see... What is he doing? Is that just he's just surfing there? Or is it, I was just thinking, yeah. like, are we going to see like a weird boost or something or some weird smoke setup, I don't know. Yeah, you but people do that to throw certain nades, I know. Because you can get into that like really weird angles when you do that. You usually do it on the other side though, i never seen it on that side. It's yeah. a pop fashion style through this. He's going to get the entries here, Nitro going to slap down Davy and uh, move quickly into the bomb side, trying to just carve a path through these players, picks up a second entry, it's Jason left over by water, he's going to take down Nitro finally. But it is an, an advantage here. One man to the good, our Liquid, as they cannot get the bomb down just yet. They can't risk their man advantage. They're going to get the frag on Jason. He's going to peek up now on Abe. Abe is going to go back, but, uh, well, he's got to do it. He's, there's, there's no saving in, in the last round. And Liquid look like they're going to take things to overtime here on Overpass. Abe going to go up from water, leaves first point of contact, spots him, oh nice shot there by Abe, just a quick little snap, great reaction, but gets caught on the defuse. And 15 to 15, we're going to get overtime in right now, and actually this will be the first overtime of the HTC Reborn Invitational, I don't believe we had one yesterday, so, no in fact we didn't, I casted all of them, so I would know if we did. 
Um, Maybe in the kid game. Nope, not in that one either. I think yeah. that's 1610, 1610, so... So no. <laughs> yeah. No. Alright, and if you guys uh, do want to recap of yesterday's action, there was a very nice uh, article written up by Sapphire over on Team Liquid, so you can go check that out and see, uh, just update yourselves with, with what happened in a little bit more detail. Especially as, uh, as Brett mentioned, the keyed stars and affinity match was uh, was not broadcast due to some DDoS issues, so it was played offline, but the details of what happened are in that write-up. So we have just a little 30 second break here, so if you want to sprint to the toilets, now's the time. But going into this overtime, I mean, affinity going to stay on the, the CT side. I feel like this helps Liquid a little bit because they seem to be starting to find answers. They, they started to find success on fast takes of sewers with you know Alicia entering, and uh, they start they worked out that the A kind of pushes didn't really work for them. Yeah, and just mentally as well. Like if you go to overtime, you always want to be the team that came back, and Liquid obviously came back mm. since they were down 14-11. So I think Liquid would will win this. But they have to get at like at least uh, it's MR5, right? I actually I'm not sh actually not sure what the overtime rules are, but I'm sure we'll we'll find out s uh, very soon. Yeah, because if it's MR5, they need at least like two rounds. If it's MR3, they need at least one round. Oh, well, o obviously they need, they need at least one round to win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, MR5 indeed. So, um, the the fun thing actually is is that I believe that Liquid they lost their CT pistol, right? And uh, Affinity won that. So. Um, Affinity winning both pistols. So Affinity having to win both pistol rounds to get the advantage here on Liquid. But we aren't going to see any uh, any pistols in, in this over time. Very unlikely. So AWP on Adrian, AWP on Arya. Every t you know, both teams get to buy up everything they want. MR5. So, ooh, getting the boost. Oh, Fugly with a snap there onto Abe. And it's going to be Fox also taken down because they know exactly after seeing that first round on Abe exactly where Fox is going to be. And this looks like it might be an easy round for Liquid on onto Abe. But I hesitate to speak too soon considering what has happened previously in this series. All right, Davey and Jason. Well and truly smoked off. This is such a horrible position. Such a fast bomb take. What on earth are you going to do? Losing even with the spray down on the flank. What a disaster here for Affinity. Yeah, and even if you have 16k, saving those guns can be really crucial because you still only able to buy fully for three rounds, so... Flawless round as well. You yeah, you got to win one of the first yeah. three, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but the thing, the funny thing that's interesting there is that that's the first super fast round that I think Liquid showed towards A, and they, it was the first round where they they played really solid, a solid, super solid trade situation to gain ground quickly, and uh, I, I feel like Affinity were outpaced there. They feel like they never expected the pace, because Liquid they showed always very slow A rounds, and that tended not to work. Maybe that was another adjustment, as an adjustment from Liquid there. It looks like they're gonna do exactly, exactly the same thing. Two people just rushing up from stairs, clearing out uh, the toilet. Toilets. And uh, no one on the boost now, though. Yeah, and, and Affinity did they put two players towards long? Um, so, so interesting. They could go for the wrap around the, the all the way around towards party, or they could, uh, of course, get good angles into the connector area between party and long, but Nitro is coming out to clear it, and this is really strong. Look, that is exactly the reason. I'm going to find uh, that it's going to play to the advantage of the T's. The T's, oh my goodness, Arya almost lining up for him there, as uh, Arya will pick up the kill onto Nitro, jumping across across on a bait the shot, but Arya's going to hit in this, in this uh, occasion. 4 on 4 right now as the push does come in onto the A bomb site. A bird has dropped the bomb towards long. That's not a good look here for the T's as they try to take this bomb site. And they're losing players now. They can't quite get up onto that site. And uh, this is the struggle for them. We do have A who's also just behind the bomb at the moment. So the CT's well and truly in control of that. Alicia's now going to go back for it to try to flank onto A. But I think he's going to hear the running. And D, he's got the nades out as well. And Alicia's not going to do all that much. And. Uh, We'll find the frag. So it's looking like a round here for Affinity, but Flowstick coming in for a, a bit of extra damage here. Just finding a second headshot there, but not quite. As we will have uh, Liquids. Oh no, dying off the time, so no extra money for him. But the thing for Liquid, at least they won a round already, so they, they, they shouldn't be in a spot where they're going to actually have to eco. 
not ethos, but you know, no, 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 you'll be out of money, sorry. Yeah, two people still having 16k, so yeah. they're fine. But that's the thing that's so awkward when you're trying to push up towards A, because as soon as the CTs manage to kill like all the Ts on long, or either all the Ts on the toilets, it basically becomes impossible to take the A, a site, because they can set up so like great crossfire, so... Liquid losing long there, they should have just fall back, or just try to roll it back to, uh, towards long because they were still 4 and 4 as well so yeah and they're, they're just going back to their B executes it just seems to be the trend this game the rounds that's most successful for the terrorists just going for the simple B executes just smoking off graffiti smoking off seed water on the balcony and just pushing out the monster they actually have a, a quite a lot of the as well. They could use one for the bomb if they get it down, but Davey's in that position to the left, which is very committed. We, you, you know, you try to, you, you presume they'll be looking towards the left instead of the right more of the time, so he's going to pick up the crag, but they don't even refrag him there. That's what's supposed to happen. Davey is finally going to go down to Adren, who can reclaim the bomb, but in goes the incendiary, forcing Adren back in another very dire situation for Liquid. These T rounds are, have been very, very much of a struggle uh, for Liquid against Affinity. Hard for them to find something cons that consistently works. Oh wow, Adren picks up the kill onto A with that boost. Beautiful. And that's going to make it a 2 on 3. They've got 30 seconds to go though. In, in fact, even less, sorry. They've got 20 seconds to go. And uh, Jason and Fox able to find the frag onto Nitro. So not much Adren can do, but you know, might as well go for it. And he's going to go down. So another round by Affinity. So this time the BXQ did not work. I wouldn't be surprised if they just went for it again. Yeah. And just be like, use flashes more in monster. Yeah, but that angle you're talking about, Dave standing, picking the monster channel is really, really hard to handle because due to monster being an actual like tunnel, it's circular. Yes, so yeah, you yeah. You can actually see the see uh, the terrace before they can see. Right, them. right. So you, ha you ha have to either pop flash up uh, angle or you have to like run and jump. You, right. can't, you can't walk into it. Impossible. Like one of those, those shadow um, advantages. Yeah, exactly. And that's uh, I guess one of the reasons why Nitro is kind of hugging the wall there. We're gonna see them moving in for an entry though. Davy with the spray down takes out a leash, and they are gonna still be pushing their issue though. But they are not gonna be successful in getting the bomb in a favorable spot here. It's been dropped in front of the CTs into the water, and we have a two on three again. At Adren and Fugly left alive, and Adren is looking. To something, these smokes gonna go away soon, and he's gonna feel very exposed. He looks for the first player. That's a pretty hard spot. That's a quick snap onto Davy, and Fuzzy will find one onto Abe as well. So they are making this happen using the Molotov wisely. That's going to create a situation where they can actually get the uh, get the bomb, but Aris is gonna go for it with the jump, and uh, well, gonna get another round there for Liquid. So two to two at the moment, and. Uh, with the story of the second half for Liquid on their T side, that I think that's gonna make them feel okay. I think you said they need at least two or three. Yeah, so. I, th I think they're happy with getting two rounds. If they get the third, it's just like a bonus. Yeah. Yeah, I mean they're gonna not have any economic issues on the CT side, so um, definitely that was part of the reason why they they did struggle here and there on the CT side. A really good angle here by Fugly. Uh, if people don't know about it, so you should really use it because you can see if it, uh, see just go down the stairs towards the door, but they can't see you. It's a really strong angle. So we actually have Liquid delving in towards the A. And this is really nice. Oh, there you go. Flosik picking up a frag through the smoke onto Davy, and that 5 on 4, which is now was so free, it's going to give Liquid all the opportunity to take a strong option into one of these bomb sites. They've got a player almost on A, so they're even in a situation there where they could try to go for a fake as well with the two players towards A and then throwing nades over from Suez. But we're gonna have uh, them just gonna go for that straight up play into B. Gonna use the numbers advantage. Fox gonna take down Nitro towards the A side of the map. I did delay rotation a little bit, but they've gotta be fast into this site for the frags and the take. In comes Arya, takes down Flosik. Bomb gets planted, but Arya with a second shot onto a leash. Fugly gonna wrap around. He's got to do some damage. He goes for the spray down. Gonna get caught out by these players all coming into water at once. Now a Dren in a one on three with the AK. And that bomb ticking away. He's got a good angle on it, but these CTs, if they play together, oh, and even have the smokes as well. The smoke point actually backfire. Oh, he's gonna spray through. Oh, and just body blocking there and the Dren cannot get it done. Third round by Affinity.
and that's uh, throwing that smoke in that particular situation. I think it actually favors the terrorists more because he's in a one v three. It should be almost un unwinnable, but throwing the smoke it just makes the, the situation more random. Right. Because you, know? you can you don't know how wide his peak can be, but the diffuse is always going to be in the same spot more or less. So for him it's like oh well, I can just shoot here always, and you have no idea. Yeah, exactly. Which, which, yeah. Like he has to get lucky, of course, but. It's still like it's a good point. A really good point, actually. Yeah, because this is actually a, a point I was making. Uh, we had um, I don't know. I've cast like a lot of games recently, so, <laughs> so I'm not sure which match it was exactly. But there was. I think it was actually. It may have even been a a flip side match or a Hellraiser's match. Oh, it was, Hell, it was a Hellraiser's match. Yes, I remember now. And it was on um, Overpass and, and uh, Cash. I think they were playing. And there was these situations repeatedly where this T there would be a smoke on the bomb plant, but he would never know where the bomb was planted. And, he could, and it was always a one round if you just know where the bomb's planted, but there was, there was never that situation. Because that the smoke, if there's a smoke down, you should always know how to frag onto it as, as a T. It should be something you can practice even by yourself off, offline. So um, anyway, um, that was not very winnable for Adren. We're going to see that slight advantage, but Liquid back onto the CT side where we would expect them to be strong, uh, stronger, definitely. And Affinity with that Suez take now, and the spot coming in from Elise, I think, there. And the standard be execute once again. Yeah, I remember this now. The Affinity going for this very often. There's some really good uh, nade placement as well. You can see that once again. Oh, wow, the fire all over the place right now. So much smoke, so much fire. All the bullets raining through the smokes. And there's no one left here for Affinity. They have been completely annihilated. I don't think they can even understand where the hell the smokes are going. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> I don't even know. That was. So he, he threw the nade on him, <laughs> and it was like, I'm gonna knife him. And it's like, it's just about to stab him. His teammate kills him with an off. <laughs> and then he kills himself with an AG. Oh, that was absolutely beautiful. What on earth is going on? A perfect situation, yeah, turning yeah. bad in like one second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got a liquid. A that was a really solid t uh, hold of the B. That was one of the reasons why Affinity kept going to it, because they, they would get the entry so easily, but that time it just did not work at all, which is much better for Liquid. Adren gets the shot onto Jason. Arya apparently helping him a little bit. Didn't see the early team damage there. Not sure where it came from. The two players towards toilets here. Nitro is uh, looking to get some damage done. In this position, oh, I've got to look the right way at the right time. I think he heard the jump, and that sound cue is the difference because now Nitro gets a quick kill onto Aven. Now Fox wants to get that restart. Good flash there for Nitro to be very blinded, but it's still a four on three for the CT. So they've, they've done what was so problematic for Liquid when they were trying the A takes and just to wear them down before they can even get to a bomb site. Yeah, and a 4v2 now. This is should be impossible to win for Affinity. Two players up long is it could be unexpected, but they got two players on the A bomb site with uh, proper angles to defend this. All going to come down to the fast snaps from Aria with that up. He's been really good with it, to be honest. Oh, that nade is really spot on, and they have incendiaries as well, three of them, so they could toss quite a few there. They've tossed one preemptively onto the bomb spot, a little bit too early maybe, but uh, should be easy for Elise to find the angle here, and indeed he will. And uh, Liquid looking really, really good into this CT hop. I think they've finally found their feet, especially starting with all the money, not having to worry about the economy game. They can just, they can just play the setups they want. And uh, I, th I think that B-hold as well, that must have lifted their spirits a lot. Yeah, um, I like the way they handle that B-push. They just let them take the monster water and just play defensive in their own like water area and just wait for the rotation and just go for the retake afterwards. So it's uh, a big improvement improvement from what we saw. The cool thing as well is that, that get, that's a really valuable round for Affinity because clearly they have they have rehearsed this massively. They really drilled that round and Liquid just showed them, okay, this is how you beat that round. So that's a really cool learning experience for Affinity because clearly they, they would, they would want to do that because they've put a lot of time in. You can see that they, were, they had monitors on either side of the CT water. That's actually really awesome. Um, so really nice nades by Affinity, but going to go for that uh, A play as well. Not feeling so strong with uh, reusing the B execute just yet. And uh, Liquid, they, they, if they would want to win this one, they need tw uh, 21 rounds. So they just need to win one more to at least guarantee another overtime for themselves. And we're going to have a quick take. And again, Liquid just waiting, just sitting back, letting the side be taken. Oh, we're going to get a team frag coming in off of Jason. Getting a lot of those, it feels like, at the moment. Even uh, Abe getting burned down to a crisp. Thanks to Adren's Molotov, and we have a three on two here in favor of Liquid, and they are taking these frags 
And it's going to be the bomb down, but it, Arya, he can't really get good angles here without facing a multiple players at once. And Liquid will take the round. So they are at least secured now at another overtime. So the loser of this one, this uh, this match will take home one thousand two hundred fifty dollars. So at the very least, uh, you know you you are going to go home with something here, thanks to uh, thanks to HGC and all the other partners that have been supporting this tournament. CyberPowerPC, AlphaDraft.com, Quest Gaming, G Two Eight. So we have to see whether or not Affinity can make this B play work this time. Ooh, this this is a way for it to actually work. You're getting a fast frag to completely destroy Liquid's defense, but they're gonna walk it in. It is right now the entry found by Abe. And it's thrown in by Liquid. It's a good counter grenades here as the uh, the T players try to get that bomb planted, and so far so good actually. Elish and Bosic both dying out of position when the push came in. Fugly though, with that double, you can always count on this guy. We got a flank coming in as well quickly um, with with uh, with Fugly, so could make it happen here. Uh, sorry, with it, it was with uh, Nitro even. But he has to do it alone now. Get that 4K to save the round and win this match. Can Affinity keep themselves alive in this one? Fugly jumping over the smoke. Oh, he's gonna find the frag. What a play from Fugly! And I'm telling you, this guy, he reminds me of a little bit of snacks sometimes. Because he's so calm in these in these retake situations, he just gets these multi kills. He just delivers when Liquid need it. So 21 to 18, they will actually they'll actually make that one happen. And well, Liquid they won't have to go to a cash. I think they're gonna be very pleased with that. I think they expected to have a much easier time on overpass. Yeah, my predictions were obviously incredibly yeah. wrong. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I thought they were gonna win with like 16 to five if they started a CT, and we saw overtime and. Uh, I think Affinity had that overpass game. They just threw it away the last few, few rounds when they were seated. They were up 14-11 and they had like 12k on three people. And they just got grinded out at the end there by Liquid. They, was, they were almost in that position where like, okay, we're up 14-1. to one. We have a lot of money. We can start taking like s serious risks now. Mm. As you were talking like Virtus Pro doing on this map. Where yeah, like yeah. Pushing three guys party and like trying to do something like funky like that. Yeah, it's it's that stuff. If you like that stuff, sometimes can seem like a, a risk. But some teams have so much rehearsal and they understand the nade usage with it so perfectly that it's actually not even super risky. Because if the other team has never seen it, it's actually super favorable. And it's it's crazy what some teams have done with the with the rehearsals on some of these maps. Like you're talking about Overpass being a map that hasn't necessarily been explored by some teams that much. Some teams will will drill it a lot, like Virtus Pro, for example, and some teams won't put much emphasis. I think actually Liquid may have been a bit surprised to see that Affinity actually had a lot of knowledge on this map. I think that Liquid were looking for the knowledge, uh, like the knowledge advantage. And, yeah, uh, exactly. And Affinity were, they had a lot of executes. They didn't have the A executes so much, but the B one was obviously very well drilled. Yeah, yeah. Th three smokes covering everything, or maybe it was even four. And then yeah. have the Molotovs, and they're like, th they didn't throw the Molotovs at the same place, so they like had it perfectly spread out there on the seed water. And like, I still don't really agree with throwing the Molotovs there because the seed water is so wide. The yeah. seed is always gonna find like, okay, I can stand here, like one yeah, position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, if they can stand somewhere, s stand somewhere safe, the Molotovs just do nothing. Yeah, because the smoke's already stopped the, them really using those angles. Yeah, exactly. But then. the cool thing as well is that if you do save those two Molotovs, after the bomb has been planted, we have that spot where, th you know, if they, it, it, you can probably, f there must be some like. Must be some molotovs from Suez that land on the bomb spot. Yeah, the, the annoying like thing is that the seed is usually like on smoke. Oh, and they, oh okay, yeah, yeah, as soon as they smoke the bomb. It's oh, like my plan is yeah, ruined. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. It's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. All right, so guys, we will take a quick break. Uh, congratulations to Team Liquid going forwards. And of course, uh, Affinity, well, they will walk home with a consolation prize, $1,250, which is really nice. And uh, some good experience taken away from this tournament too. I think they show a lot of people what they can do. We saw some really good individual performances. We saw a lot of room for growth too, especially Dust2. It feels like Dust2, they've got loads of skill. But you know, if they add in some of these, these executes, like you know, maybe the Wall of Smokes ex execute on, on Cat or something, maybe just you know, mixing it up a little bit more, we could see a really strong affinity at some point. So that's really encouraging to see. I mean, do you take anything uh, extra away from this one? Well, I agree with you completely. I was t I was really surprised how well they did, and uh, I'm not as, as uh, surprised anymore that they managed to beat Kid. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah, that was the thing. Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, so yeah, I'm really surprised with Affinity.
Yeah, so very nice stuff from Affinity. Keep your eyes on them. But we here must keep our eyes to the future here because we have more matches coming up. We have CLG and Cloud9 up next, and that is in 40 minutes, guys. So please stay with us. And remember, you can win a CyberPower PC and an HTC One M9 if you go to bits.ly forward slash giveaway by HTC. So go follow the instructions and get in that competition. And we will see you in 40 minutes for the next.